Ah, man, what's going on, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another video podcast for you this evening. Yo, let me uh, start off by saying my name is Lockout Man. Men and I am here for the new jacks, the new drivers, the students, everybody that's coming into the trucking industry that may need some help or some advice or anything like that. If you find this channel or this video any of value, just go ahead and hit that like button for me. You know what I'm saying? 25, 25 views, 15 likes. That's that's what I'm looking for. Uh, let's jump right into this. Uh, Let's jump right into it. All right. So I am here up at the Walmart up here in Ohio, right on the border of West Virginia, maybe. No, I don't think this is the border of West Virginia. I think this is the border of PA. Uh, it's right over here off of 75, I think. I'm not sure, man. I'm tired. Look, look at here. Um. I'm just sitting here waiting on the dock, uh, waiting on one of the yard guys to come over here and move this trailer out the dock that I'm supposed to be in. And I'm about to go ahead and jump right into it and probably have to wait a little bit more. I'm here super early, though. My appointment is like super in the evening, but you guys know me. I, I, I like to get the places on time. I'd rather be on time than late. Um, company that I work for. You know, they, they, they real stricklers on trying to be at the, at, at the place on time. So that's what I tried to do. So check this out, man. This uh, commentary, you know, I know this will probably be commentary style, but I'm, I'm coming to you this way. is from a post in Facebook. And <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about this. I, I think this pretty much rubbed me the wrong way. I'm just going to be totally honest because if you guys got common sense, all right, and and if that's the case, you should already know the answer to the question that you about to pose on Facebook. I, I don't know why that you that that you guys will come and pose uh, and pose questions on Facebook that you already should know the answer to but if you have to come on Facebook <laughs> okay I'm just saying to ask a simple question to get advice I get it I understand it but to get advice on something that you should already know is 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 a no-brainer so check this out this is what I found it says, boyfriend wants to go over the road with me. Cool. Cool. Maybe the boyfriend, uh, you know, that's he, he might be interested in coming into the, uh, into the game. And maybe he don't have his license, but he want to see what the lifestyle is about. I get it. Yeah, let's go. But she says, it would be nice. But he will have to quit his job. And he be living off of me. I don't know what to tell him. He's a really great guy. But I need some advice from you guys. Here's some advice. Tell brother man to get his CDLs. That's, that's the advice. If he wants to come and go over the road with you. And, and he has to quit his job to do so. Then tell him to get off his behind go to school or go to a trucking company that's offering cdl that's cdl without an s by the way all right don't just have him to hop on hop on board with you and you got to take care of him he'll be living off of you come on now that's the same that's the same thing for a man like yo uh yo babe I want you to come and live with me. Not unless the man ask. That's kind of different. All right. That's kind of different. But this guy wants to come, quit his job, hop on a, hop on board with you, and live off of your hard work. While he just sit there in the seat, just enjoying the scenery or whatever the case may be that he might be doing. Now, of course, you got the, you got the D on board. That's everyday D, 24-7 D. That's D whenever you need it. D whenever you want it. D whenever you feel like grabbing it. D any time of the day. D. 
Okay, I get that. Maybe you want that. But if he's going to just try to live off of you and off of your hard-earned work, nah, brother man got to get his CDL, then you guys team drive and y'all build the money together. That's a no-brainer right here. That's, you don't need to come into a Facebook group to ask that question. Uh, he's re he's really a great guy, but I need some advice. Well, he could be he could be great at everything. Like I said, that's that D. That D could be great. You know that D once he put it on you will turn you will will, will have you like. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I'll do anything I want for you, baby. That's that D. But what happened if y'all get into an argument? What happened if what happened if the relationship turns sour? Then what? You're going to have to drop his ass off, what, back at home? No, nah, drop his ass off at an airport, give him a couple of dollars, and, and tell him, like, yo, bye. But no, you don't do that. You don't do that. He'll be living off of you. He'll be living off of you. Live, living off of you. Listen to what you're saying here. Living off of you. That means you got to buy his food. Means you got to buy his clothes. Means you got to buy his personal hygiene. Means that you got to pay for everything that this man is doing on your truck. Well, for what? My man just turned into a whole gigolo. Period. He could call his friends up and be like, yo, man, if you got a female and she's in the trucking game, man, just go in here and make sure that D is on point. And she'll bring you with her. Nah, she'll come into a Facebook group to ask the question, boyfriend wants to go over the road with me. It would be nice. Yeah, it would be nice. Like I said, you got that D. That D, 24-7 D. No matter what D. You know what I'm saying? You got that mouth. That mouth he might put that mouth on you. You know what I'm saying? You could probably you could probably be up at a shipper or a receiver, cock that leg open right quick. He could get right there on the ground and start doing the damn thing. I mean, that's what I think some guys be doing with their female friends, but I But I'm just saying. He could get right there and get it and and, and get that work in. You know what I'm saying? It would be nice. But he don't have a job. <laughs> He's not making no money. He's not contributing to you uh, to you financially. You footing all the bill. Now this is what you do. Okay? This is what you do. You tell him if he quit his job, go to school, get your CDL. Once you get your CDL, then we'll look into a company that we can team drive. Not only that we'll be making money together. Well, let me rephrase that. Not only that I'll be getting that D all the time, but we will be making that money together. We will be building a future with each other. We will be building a financial dynasty. We will become a trucking couple. That's what you tell him. That would be my advice. Hopefully, if anybody else has that same question or anything like that, that will be my advice. Have your, your, your female friend or your male friend, have them, to, if they want to come in and, you know, give up their life and come on the road with you, build that money together, have them to get their CDL. And tell them they better get their CDL now before next year, all right? Lockout men, that's what's up. You like you you like content like this, man? Just hook a brother up, hit that like button. It is free, it works, and it helps out the channel as well as the video. All right, twenty five views, fifteen likes. Hook me up with that, yo. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it, and I'll come back at you with another one. Peace.